Haley out in here with Shaq Goodwin. Shaq, congratulations. Yesterday against Tulsa, you got into some foul trouble and didn't get to contribute, I'm sure, the way that you would have liked to. Coach Passner said yesterday he needed more from you today, and you contributed 16 points. Uh, what was different about your game tonight? Um, I really came into, the, came into today thinking, stick with the game plan and forget about yesterday. Um, we call it creative forgiveness. And that's just forgetting about what you did yesterday, forgetting about the future and living in the moment. So uh, Coach drew up a great, a great game plan against Tulane. Um, following his steps and following, you know, what my teammates set up for me, I was able to produce. You guys look like you're having a lot of fun out there. Um, as a senior, how much are you taking in this journey and how much do you appreciate it? Man, it's really, I go into every game thinking this game could be my last, but it's really a, a feeling that you just try to embrace all while knowing, you know, always having a sense of, a sense of urgency. So uh, I'm just doing the best I can of, you know, enjoying every minute I get to play with my teammates because I know once, you know, if we lose, once we lose, it's over and I'll never have this group again. So just embracing the moment while I have it. And tomorrow's game against UConn, it's going to be an intense game. I'm sure you've seen what they've been able to do here <laughs> throughout the week. Mm -hmm. So you have to imagine that level is going to go up. How do you get ready for tomorrow as a senior playing in the championship and for a chance at the NCAA tournament? You first off, you show respect to Coach Ali and his program for what they, you know, what they're doing this year. They're always a respectable program, and then you pray on it. You pray on it. You ask for God's will to be done, and He takes care of it from there. All right. Thanks a lot. Good luck tomorrow, Shaq. Thank you. I'm now joined by head coach Josh Passner. Coach, yesterday against Tulsa, Avery Woodson left the game and obviously didn't play today. Who stepped up in his absence? Well, Markel Crawford really stepped up. I told Markel Crawford before the um, before the game, and I said, hey, you have a great opportunity in front of you. Um, and that opportunity is you've got to fill that void and you need to get a double-double. You're a world-class athlete. You're a high-level guy. And um, today he had a double-double, 10 points, 10 rebounds. Uh, really stepped up, really proud of really proud of Markel for the way he produced in, 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 in the absence of Avery Woodson. Yesterday you said Shaq owed you one today, 16 points. Do you think that Shaq can take it to an even higher level in the next game. If we want to beat UConn, he's got to take it to a higher level. There's no doubt about it. And UConn has played some intense basketball here this week, two really tough games. The nation's been watching to see what they've done. It's obviously going to be a very tough game tomorrow. How do you get your guys ready to play in a championship game with the NCAA tournament on the line? I've been fortunate that I've been a head coach where we've where we've won three tournament championships. So I know these type of games where it's just it's a barn burner, they're battles. Um, every possession's a fight and a scrap. And UConn's really good, and we're going to have to play really well. But I can tell you this, it's not going to be much about the X's and O's. It's going to come down to Jimmy's and Joe's producing. Players got to make plays. All right, thanks a lot. Good Thank luck you. tomorrow, Coach. Thank you.